the true empowerment making people free consciously free i call that inner freedom yeah. when you become so free from inside out that is enough to liberate you that is enough to make you free that empowerment is enough to be even reach enlightenment and salvation freedom is the beginning and when you have that freedom then love will naturally seek out to you because i can tell you jeni all right you are going to become free because of see how i'm inspiring you i'm telling you this telling you that telling you this no it is not going to unless you seek love and how you seek love you seek the inner abiding presence of jesus that is where you find that infinity of love not the restrained fragmented orders of love but if you really were to realize the infinity of love you need to realize jesus within you then you are infinitely in love okay now you have realized your freedom nothing in the universe can stop you when you are that free and in that much love and prepared to express that love from within you nothing can stop you in the universe that's the power of jesus from within you how difficult do you think it is to manifest inner freedom and total love how difficult is it yeah look jesus says again and again it is not all you need is the mind of a child yeah see what is difficult difficult is uh, difficulty it only attributes to the person who is very very mindful right child doesn't see difficulties a mindful person does see a child doesn't see a difficulty in le- in learning a language a mindful person does child doesn't have a difficulty observing something a mindful person does you see that so the more you become childlike the more you embrace the childlike qualities within you then you are free then jesus is going to manifest within you so it is not something that is complicated come on the bible says what does it say here you reveal everything to little children yet you hide these things from the grown ups and the intellects doesn't the bible say that yeah who is finding it difficult <laughs> the grown ups and the intellects yeah see that's the reason why the fundamentalists and traditionalists of the church they can never get but the pope is up to yeah they can never get him they're mystifying yeah they simply cannot understand him you know they just see it as they li- see, liberal theology that they don't like. yeah because they are defining it it's not there is nothing to define when you are a mystic mm-hmm. who defines things mindful people do So if I say such and such and such and such it fits into the category of liberalism what am i doing in a lot yeah i'm limiting everything into my dvd intellect mm. in my tiny intellect i won't reduce everything into that right. then i dare to make a dumb statement a saying that our pope is liberal <laughs> 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 see see gosh so close yeah see the unabashed ignorance it is total ignorance masquerading as traditionalism and fundamentalism total ignorance that's the world we live in 
the mindful world we live in. Everybody's seeking mindfulness. Um, so everybody's seeking mindfulness. Yeah. It's a hot topic. Yeah. Mindfulness, yep. Yeah. That's where the business is. That's where the money is. You know? Right. It's a cash word, isn't it? That's the cash word. Uh -huh. <laughs> You know, what I say, we need to transcend mindfulness. Uh, that doesn't ring the bell. <laughs> I don't understand it. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> they won't even ask me that question. Yeah. But that's the reality. The reality is transcend mindfulness. Become a child. Observe like a child. Feel like a child. Manifest emotions like a child. Manifest love like a child. That's really what it is. I had an incident with my caregiver uh -huh. um, who has problems with her temper. I got very angry. Mm -hmm. I told her to stop criticizing me. Mm -hmm. But what about me screaming at her? Stop criticizing me. What is what is he do you think if I'm coming from love and she attacks me like that, what 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 can I say? Maybe as a mystic, what do I say? Look, what okay, let's take our Pope as an example. Right. It's not people are not criticizing him all the time. Right. Openly criticize. I've I've even seen propagandas of people calling him Antichrist and Satan and all sorts of things. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. How does he deal with that? You're totally unaffected by that. Yeah. Did people call Jesus Satan? I'm sure. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Because they said he's drawing all these powers from Satan. Right. That was one of the arguments they one presented of the arguments, to the judges. Jesus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was Jesus affected by that kind of criticism? I don't think so. No. But look, if you are reacting to it, it's okay because you are still human. That's quite understandable. But in the next moment, you are coming back to your spiritual mode anyway, into that awareness. So there is nothing to, nothing to worry about, nothing to question. Do you ever find it difficult to manifest love from the heart? Do I find it difficult? Or do you have instances? Oh, yeah, several. Uh, several because, see, I find it impossible when people deliberately resist me because not everybody is open to receive love. Mm -hmm. People are usually threatened by love. They are not used to receiving love. Especially in the Western society, we don't know how to receive love. We are so mindful and we know how to give love, but we don't know how to receive love. And we are well aware that loving is, it involves giving. But we are not aware that love also involves receiving. Yeah. See, you need to gracefully receive love. And uh, that's a quality, especially the Westerners have to learn. Mm -hmm. Clearly, your caretaker, she, she doesn't know how to receive love. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you, that's at the heart of the problem between us. Yeah. She doesn't know that. Yeah. When you receive love, you become very empowered. 